When you are referencing, when mama, first of all, references that she likes the ex better than your current, it's over. <laughs> it was over right then and there. <laughs> okay, I was like, well, and I'm a mama's boy. I love my mama, so <laughs> I guess whatever she says, that's just what it's gonna be. That 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 is it. <laughs> Can y'all see that? Who that? Who that? Okay, who that? I know it's not football season, but still. Who that? You know, gotta rep my Saints or whatever. Nola. I'm from Louisiana, y'all. Okay. Air code 225. All my 225 stand up. All my Louisianians stand up. Creole, Cajun gang, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tom Duff, and I'm back with another video. Welcome to part three of My Boyfriend Tried to Kill Me. If you got all the tea from part one and part two, then you will definitely like the conclusion. I think this would be the conclusion in a part three. So let's get into the video. Don't forget though, hit that like button. This is an L. But hit that like button, leave some comments in the comment section below on your thoughts about this video. And if you have experienced anything very similar to what I've been through, and if you just, want to comment on my life and tell me how dumb I am, then you can do that too. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button if you are also new to stay tuned for my crazy ass life. Thank you. Now let's get into the video. Continuing from part two, you guys got the whole scope, that whole night, just everything was so fucking crazy. What I am left with now, I'll be vocal about it, you know, like the, the amount of money that is owed to me and what has been racked up throughout this time and why I was doing like this back and forth like let me try to manipulate and get the money back because in reality I'm more than likely not going to get this money back but credit cards found my credit cards ran them hoes up with y'all wouldn't even believe it if I told you <laughs> $35,000 worth I know you're thinking like what the fuck $35,000 worth now as much as I would love to just put $35,000 to pay off my goddamn credit cards, I don't know if the IRS is necessarily going to like that. I might have to sell some drugs on the side of the street. <laughs> oh my God, Thailand, like what is going on? I don't know. This is what I'm left with. Not only just the financial like burden of all the BS, but y'all, I am like emotionally and mentally scarred. This isn't going to affect my view on eventually getting married because honestly y'all I want to be married like I have such a big heart and like I'm so loving like I want to find my forever partner and to raise a family and you know build wealth and just build like I like why is that so hard why is it so hard to ask for nowadays so I'm not like scarred in that way of ever believing that that could possibly happen but I'm emotionally and mentally scarred temporarily because of the manipulation that I've been through. And not only that, to where I felt like I lost myself, like way worse than when um, I left the relationship with my ex-fiance and all my other situationships that have happened. Like I stooped so low to try and play the same game that my manipulator was playing on me as opposed to like bossing up and walking away. Like that, right there makes me be like kind of what what really happened you know like did you really take these amount of years off to really focus on yourself and figure out who you are just to throw yourself in a even worse situation than what you were in previously and y'all look you know it's bad when my own mama was like yeah i like don sure i think that she's lying <laughs> or she has lied. But she said, yeah, you know, I like Don, but sometimes I'd be wondering, where is Anthony at? When you are referencing, when mama, first of all, references that she likes the ex better than your current, it's over. <laughs> it was over right then and there. <laughs> okay, I was like, oh shit. And I'm a mama's boy, I love my mama, so. <laughs> I guess whatever she says, that's just what it's gonna be. That 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 is it. <laughs> I, I'm I'm hurt. I am hurt. Aside from the physical abuse, y'all, I know I didn't get too deep into it in the other videos. I was kind of sharing it here. 
Um, I mean, on those drunken nights, it it was, I mean, it was, it was bad. <laughs> it would choke me, you know? And in these, I don't know if it was bipolarism or uh, psychosis or whatever, um, choking me or grabbing me or all these different types of things or acts of aggression or like, you know, if I'd be like, oh, my back hurts. Cause you know, my back's been hurting since 2017. I got into a car accident with the city bus. And even if I asked to, you know, have a massage, oh, did y'all hear that pop? Did that pick up on camera? Sound like I snapped my damn neck. Even when asking for a massage, it was like this real like um, physical aggression to like cause me pain and that turned them on, which I mean, everybody got their fetishes, okay? Like I like that in a loving way. Does that make sense? Like it's different when, you know, your kink might be to be like, oh, like choke me, like spit in my mouth, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. But it feels completely different when one, it's from somebody that you don't really like. And the other side is when it's not sincere, it feels like you, you can just feel it. Am I explaining that right? <laughs> Sometimes like I base a lot of my um, experiences based off of feelings just because I feel so deeply. And I think that is the um, that empathetic part of me that I just believe that everybody should just get and not everybody really gets that. So please let me know if you actually know what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, it's just, it's mentally like fucked with me. I am glad that I'm going through these experiences because I get to, I need to learn these things and I need to learn how to establish boundaries for myself, stand up for myself and realize that, I mean, you gotta, I gotta, I'm, I'm letting this happen. You know, I can throw blame on everybody and blah, 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 and oh, well, he did this and she did this. But realistically, I got to take some blame too, you know? Like, I don't want to go through these these um, toxic relationships or these toxic encounters all the time. Or that I don't want to be like that for the, you know, the rest of my life. Like, it's just like, that's not it either. That's just, that's not it. <laughs> I need to stop giving everybody so much like benefit of the doubt and realize that, I mean, there are some people out there that will want to take advantage of you. Um, he was using me. He wanted to use me for my money. He wanted to use me because I have my shit together. He wanted to use me for my car. You know, I got a nice car. And I mean, he literally took my car to go cheat on me multiple times, by the way. Also taking pictures of my car, sending it to the other hoes, making it seem like it was his. Yeah, it was like that. <laughs> like, I just, I can't, I just, he wanted to use me to get his life together. And I'm still young, I'm still trying to figure it out myself. Like what? <laughs> because I was, I'm doing so well for myself, I gotta protect myself. Cause there's gonna be people that are gonna wanna tear me down. You wanna know what he told me um, around the time where I was like, this has gotten so bad that you need to leave and he was getting ready to leave. He told me that the reason why he really even interacted or entertained me in the beginning to begin with was to see if he could pull someone like me. Pull someone like who, Don? And it was me as in like, oh, I do social media or oh, I have this amount of followers or oh, this is my um, engagement, this and that. And I'm like, and then you treat me like this. It. it it almost seems like you you put me so high on a pedestal to see if you can pull someone like me. And then you treated me as if I am so much below you, you know? And that really blew me because I am a human being. It doesn't matter if I got 100 followers, 1,000, 100,000, 1 million, shit, one. You treat me as a fucking human being. Pull someone like me. That is that beyond me. So he was never going to respect me and he was going to he was going to milk me for all my resources as much as possible. And he did. I mean, he went through my checking, my savings, my credit cards, my physical assets down to my overall well-being. And that that is the, in this sense, strongest narcissist I have ever dealt with in my life. I've never met a more narcissistic person like that before to not... Um, take blame for anything, even when we're having one-on-one -on -one conversations to get to the bottom of a situation that may be bothering me or to prevent something from happening, mute. Like literally would not speak. This is making me burn with passion to like really get back to what it is that I love to do and which is be in front of the fucking camera 
And because really, I mean, y'all interact with me on social media and stuff, you know, telling me like, Tyler, when are you coming back to YouTube? When are you doing this? When are you doing that? And I'm like, oh, soon. But ultimately, I was depressed. I got big. I got... I weighed the most I have ever weighed in my life. I was pushing 180 pounds. When I was with Anthony, I was a good 135. Like, I gained almost 50 pounds in this relationship. This relationship was bad. So now, it's encouraged me to get into the gym a lot more. Like, not just to lose weight, but, you know, lose weight, look good, be healthy. Like, I needed this almost. And I needed this to feel better. I needed this to learn so where I don't do it again, y'all. <laughs> um, this situation did happen some months ago, so I'm doing a lot better now than I was then. And it sucks. It really sucks. Like, I don't know. I mean, I get various opinions on how people view me on the internet, but I'm genuinely a sincere person. Like, I really want to see everybody win and everybody succeed. I want to see my partners win and succeed. I want to see my friends and family win and succeed, you know? My responses might be toxic sometimes. Like, I go from zero to 100 real quick because when you get me fucked up, you know, I check myself. Kind of. <laughs> I've shared my stories with you guys because I feel like people need to hear these type of stories and things that real people are going through to let you also know as a viewer, know that you're not alone. Uh, there's many people that hit me up over the previous story time about Kay and saying that they were in very similar situation. I'm gonna grow and get back on the grind, keep my head focused on what it is that I want. And that situation that I was just previously in, um, you don't wanna raise a family in that. You don't wanna be around that. And you really, really are who you hang around. Like, this is the energy you're around, it's ugly. You know, I have to burn some sage up in this bitch. I'm like, oh, get these demons out. Other than that, life's pretty decent. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you guys for always being there. And thank you guys for always giving me support. For my younger viewers, I mean, I'm still in my 20s. So I mean, like, I'm young too. So I got so much left to learn. But like, for y'all, don't get in situations like this. Anybody else wants to talk to me, please follow me on my socials. At Tylen LaDuff. At Tylen LaDuff on everything. Twitter, Instagram, like, TikTok. You know, follow me on everything. At Tylen LaDuff. Please, y'all. Give this video a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. And please leave some comments in the comment section below, okay? I'm done with this video. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for indulging in my crazy ass life. Because my life is crazy. I got so many stories, y'all. Like, I just be talking to random people like, wow, I got some stories to tell you. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for listening. Until the next video. Deuces.